Uh, Bill, let me bring you in and talk about some of these speakers. Uh, a moment ago, Tom mentioned Father Wade Menezes, and I guess if you're doing a conference about mercy, you go to the Fathers of Mercy, and uh, I know you've had a Fathers of Mercy at a conference uh, uh, before, and you can't, you can't really go wrong with these guys. They're, they're awesome. So Father Wade Menezes uh, from the Fathers of Mercy, uh, Vinny Flynn, who some of our listeners may not be familiar with, he is the author of a book called The Seven Secrets of Divine Mercy, and then Jared Zimmerer, a local guy, Catholic author, and uh, he's actually from the parish, St. Francis, uh, uh, author of a book called Man Up. And we'll talk about music in a second, which I know is new to this conference, but those three speakers, uh, tell us a little bit more about them and why men should really be particularly interested in hearing them. All three of our speakers have a common bond and that they have a, a devout passion for mercy. Yeah. Um, they live and breathe mercy. Um, they encourage men to seek mercy, to seek Christ's mercy. And so by having Father Wade and, and Vinny and Jared uh, on hand, they will share personal stories. They'll encourage men. They'll challenge men um, to ask for forgiveness from our Lord. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that, that brings us all together, as Rick described in this Jubilee Year of Mercy, shortly after um, Pope Francis first addressed the Masses, one of the things he said so beautifully was, the Lord never tires of forgiving us. We get tired of asking for His mercy. Yeah, yeah. And that message will resonate uh, loud and clear on April 23rd for all men who attend. And so the stories that Father Wade and Vinny and Jared will share and the words that will appear in the songs that Curtis Stevens sings will create this opportunity for men to feel like it's okay to ask for forgiveness mm -hmm. because we all come in as sinners uh, and that's what we are. Yeah. We hope to leave this conference feeling better about ourselves so that we can extend mercy to friends as well as to strangers. Yeah, and so many of us, uh, you know, myself included, we come into this uh, walking wounded. I remember Richard Lane at a conference a couple years ago and he said, don't leave a brother on the battlefield wounded. You know, you got to pick him up and... I think that's the cool thing about a conference like this is that, you know, we all put on a good face and, you know, everything's great, the family's great, the job's great, but, you know, we all know that's not always the case and men need mercy. We need to know that, that like you say, the, the, the God is never tired of uh, reaching out mercy for us. 